Good look at y'all. Some people are gonna be joining in a minute. What's good? What's good? Glad to see y'all. So if you're on TikTok, this uh, microphone ain't for y'all this time. This is for YouTube. So I got both running this time. <laughs> it's gonna be a little weird. So I'll be looking between cameras here. So today we are gonna be playing some games. Hola, I see y'all in the chat here. Estoy bien, como están? Y'all better come into this uh, Kahoot. Look, I'm, I'm paying extra so that like up to 200 people can get up in here in this Kahoot. So look, this thing is super fun. Look, I built this whole Kahoot myself. Uh, I did take some of these questions from other people online because look, I'm not gonna recreate the wheel. But uh, this is gonna be practice for ser, estar, adjectives in Spanish basically everything we've learned in our most recent lessons. So it's gonna be a good one. Some of these things we haven't gone over yet. So there'll be a couple tricks in here, but we'll see, we'll see what y'all got. Alguien uh, esta cocinando, uy. Hola, que tal? The point of this is not just to be right every time. The point is you're testing yourself, seeing what you actually know, and then learning from this. So. Don't just try to cheat in the chat. Like you're doing yourself a disservice. K on the way <laughs> in this YouTube chat. K on the. So let me go ahead and click start here. Okay. So here's question number one. Hoy tengo un examen blank muy nerviosa. What goes in that blank? You got about eight more seconds. All right, the correct answer is estoy. So I'm gonna explain here on this next slide uh, why that's the case. So we got our little scoreboard up here. Estoy muy nerviosa, because it's that's a temporary description of how I'm currently feeling in this moment. That's not a description of how I am as a being, as a person, that doesn't define me. Okay, so a question for the chat. This is what I was telling y'all. So if you are not in the Kahoot, but you still want to play, I inserted these little chat questions. Nerviosa is what you'll use for females. So a male would say, estoy what? Drop it in the chat here. Muy bien. I'm seeing correct answers all the way through. Yes, it is nervioso. So nerviosa is for females. Estoy nerviosa is what you say if I am nervous as a female. Estoy nervioso for males. Muy bien. Okay, so here's your next quiz question. Blank las siete de la mañana. What goes in that blank? You got 15 seconds. Jump in that Kahoot if you're not in there yet. The link is at the top of my TikTok profile. Blank las siete de la mañana. The correct answer is son. Son las siete de la mañana. All right, Geeked Out Diva still number one, but Jill coming for you. Okay, so remember that time is gonna be ser. So let me go back to the question here. It is son las siete de la mañana because son comes from ser. Uh, so here's a question for the chat related to that same question that we just looked at. Son las is for multiple hours. If it's one o'clock, you'd say what? How would you say it is one o'clock? Dime en los comentarios. Tell me in the chat here. Okay, so for multiple hours, you'll say son las and then whatever the time is, whatever the hour is. But if it's one o'clock, then you'll say es la una, because there's only one hour. So you're saying son las because there's multiple hours. If there's only one hour, it's es la. But only with one o'clock will you use es la. For all the other times, you're going to say son las, because there's only one time frame that only has one hour, and that's one o'clock. Okay, here's your next question. Mi abuela blank en el jardín. We're wanting to say, my grandmother 
is in the garden. Somebody said, tell me why I thought she was a light-skinned girl with a bonnet. What? <laughs> Come on now. All right. The correct answer is esta. Mi abuela está en el jardín. Is my grandmother is in the garden. Okay. Geeked Out Diva is still number one. Jill still number two. Okay, so remember that location is going to be estar because where I'm at doesn't define me as a person. It's just where I'm currently located in that moment in time. So we wouldn't use ser. It's going to be estar. Uh, let's see. And with the other answers I gave, esta is the conjugation for he, she, it, and usted. So in this case, we want esta because it's she. We're saying she is in the garden. Okay, so a question for the chat. My grandmother is in the garden. Is mi abuela está en el jardín? That's what we just saw. But how could I make this plural to say that both of my grandparents are in the garden? I want to say my grandparents are in the garden. How would I say that? Dime en los comentarios. Tell me in the chats here. If y'all on TikTok, if you're on uh, YouTube, Let's see, someone on TikTok asked, which dialect is this? Uh, this is just Spanish one-on-one. -on -one. The way I speak may sound Dominican, but you know the terminology and stuff that I'm teaching you is just basic. I'm seeing mis abuelos están en el jardín, and that is correct. You can also say, yes, ellos están. So you would change uh, mi abuela would change to mis abuelos, because now they're plural. So me and abuelos are both plural. And then están is going to change too. So before we had mi abuela está because it was just one person, she, but now it's two people. So mis abuelos están en el jardín. I told you I was going to remind y'all. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Uh, I don't make any money. I'm just trying to help y'all learn. I'm real passionate about it. So please. Okay, here's your next question. Blank cocinero y trabajo en un restaurante. So we're trying to say, I am a chef and I work in a restaurant. Which of these is, I am a chef. Blank cocinero y trabajo en un restaurante. Okay, muy bien. The correct answer is soy. Soy cocinero y trabajo en un restaurante. Uh oh, Jill done, uh, took the top spot. All right now. So remember that job titles, you're going to use ser. So soy cocinero, I think is what, what, what I said. Let me just back it up. Yeah, cocinero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anytime you're going to use a job title, it'll be Ser, whatever conjugation, and then that job title. Excuse me. Uh, one other thing I want to point out is when you're talking about job titles, you don't add un or una. It's just soy and then whatever that job title is. So you saw soy cocinero. Okay, here's a question for the chat. How would I say my sister is an artist? Mi hermana es artista. Sí. Sí. Okay, so for the uh, anybody who said un or una, this is what I was talking about earlier. Y'all might have missed that part. You won't need un or una when it comes to an occupation. It'll just be whatever, wh whoever. So ser, whatever conjugation of ser. So in this case, ella es, and then artista. Or mi hermana es artista. Muy bien. Y'all are really hanging in here. Look. Okay, here's the next one. Julia no tiene novio, blank soltera. We're trying to say Julia doesn't have a boyfriend. She is single. So what would you say there? Blank soltera for Julia. She is single. If you're in the cahoots, submit your answers in there. Okay, the correct answer is esta. Esta soltera. 
I'll explain why in just one second. Jill still at the top here. Okay, so remember that relationship status is going to be estar. So uh, estar soltera or soltero, depending if you're male or female, uh, is the way that you would say I am single. Estoy soltero or soltera. And I have an example here that y'all might know. Oh, wait. Will it let me play it? Here we go. Okay, so he says, estar soltera está de moda, which means like being single is in style or in fashion right now. So estar soltera. Oh, and that song is uh, Soltera. <laughs> well, I have two buys here, but by Bad Bunny, Daddy Yankee, Lunai. So check that out. If y'all don't know that one, that's a good one. Soltera. Okay, so a question for the chat. How do you say I'm married? Somebody got it on TikTok. Okay. Almost, Corinne. So in this case, this is actually going to be estoy casado or estoy casada, depending on if you're male or female. Estoy casado, estoy casada. So this was an example I gave in our last uh, adjective lesson where I was explaining all the different adjectives that you can use for estar. So soltero or soltera for single or casado or casada for married. But you're going to use estar. Here's your next quiz question. Mi camiseta blank muy sucia. Necesito lavarla. We're trying to say my shirt is very dirty and I need to wash it. Mi camiseta blank muy sucia. Three seconds. Okay, the correct answer is esta. Esta. So in this case, I'm going to give you the answer here in just one second. Jill's still rocking it. So remember that being clean or dirty is a temporary state. Like, it doesn't really define whatever item is dirty. Like, let me go back to the thing here. Oh, too far back. So in this case, mi camiseta está sucia, but that doesn't define that shirt. Like, if I get this shirt dirty... This shirt is not going to always be dirty. I'm going to put it in the wash and it'll be clean. <laughs> like being dirty does not define my shirt. So we would use estar. Oh, I don't know why it's doing a countdown. Uh, so here's a question for the chat. Sucia or sucio is dirty, but how would you say clean? Let's see if y'all know. Let's see, Nola Nikki, I think that's your name there. You said, I always struggle with conjugation for soy and ser and estar. Look, most of us do. That's why I'm trying to do this right here because it, it is hard. Like those are the first two verbs that you really learn. Um, so I'm just trying to help y'all get it down. It, it does take some time to get used to. So don't feel like you're there alone because it took me a long time to get to really understand the difference between these. So the way that you say clean in Spanish is limpio or limpia. Now, I see a lot of people in the chat that said limpiar on YouTube, uh, and that's not necessarily incorrect, but limpiar is the verb. So that means to clean, but we're looking for the adjective to say that something is clean. So it's uh, limpio or limpia for feminine. Okay, here's the next one. Hoy blank jueves, el 16 de noviembre 2022. Hoy blank jueves. We're trying to say today is Thursday, the 17th of November, uh, 2022. I almost forgot English numbers. The correct answer is S. Oh, muy bien. Y'all did good on that one. So, uh, well, see, I, I'm, I'm going to have to change this next time because I'll be trying to immediately explain what the answer is and the answer don't immediately come up. Jill's still killing it. Okay, so remember that days and dates are said. This is what I was trying to say, but the Kahoot didn't want me to say it just then. 
Um, so just like we did earlier with time. So time, dates, days, all of that is said. So looking back at this, hoy es jueves. Today is Thursday. Because the day, like today can't change. It just is. It is Thursday. It's not going to just suddenly, as the day progresses, it's not going to just become Tuesday. You know what I mean? So it is ser. You would use ser. All right. Here's a question for the chat. How do you say December in Spanish? Dime en los comentarios. How do you say December in Spanish? I see a, a letter is wrong for a lot of people over here in TikTok. Okay, so the correct way you spell it, it is diciembre, but that second letter is going to be E. It's an I, an I there. Diciembre. So you have to remember that the vowels always sound the same in Spanish. They're never like, if you spell it D-E-C, that technically is de, diciembre. But when you say it out loud, it's D. So that, that would let you know that that second letter is E. Diciembre. <laughs> Okay, muy bien. Y'all got it right for the most part, though. It's just that spelling. Here's the next question. Gabriela siempre tiene miedo. So Gabriela is always scared. Blank, una persona muy ansiosa. We're trying to say she is a very anxious person. Blank, una persona muy ansiosa. Oh, so that one was across the board here. There's somebody on a little bit of everything. The correct answer is S. Ella es una persona muy ansiosa. And I'll explain it after we see the results here. Jill's still killing them. These, look, these uh, results ain't changing much. I'm, I'm seeing the same five people up here. So here we go. Remember, when you're defining how somebody is as a person or who they are, you'll use ser. So in this case, we're saying, we're describing her personality or how she normally is. So we're going to use ser. Let me back it up so we can look at it. Uh, so Gabriela siempre tiene miedo. Blank, and it's es una persona muy ansiosa. So I think I have a tip in here. Muy bien. Uh, if I say soy una persona muy ansiosa, notice that they all have a at the end, even though I'm a male. So I could say this about myself. Soy una persona muy ansiosa. And that's really true. Like I'm, in general, I'm a really anxious person. So doing stuff like this, it's a little difficult, but to get going, but I'm fine. So the I in each word is matching persona because I'm saying I am a person who is this thing. But let's see what y'all know in the chat. How could I say I, I'm anxious? And I mean, like, in general, I am an anxious person without using una persona. If you said estoy ansioso or ansiosa, that would be correct if I was trying to say that right now in this moment, I am anxious, like just right now. But I want to say I am an anxious person, like that is who I am. So if I want to say that without saying una persona, I would say soy ansioso or if you're a female you would say soy ansiosa so that's the way of saying like as a person in general this really kind of defines who i am i i am an anxious person but if i wanted to say right now like right now because i'm doing this or whatever is the case then i would say estoy ansioso or ansiosa so this also gets into I, i've mentioned this in one of our our very last lesson on youtube is that Depending on whether you use ser or estar, you can often use adjectives with both. Like the same adjective can be used with both. So in this case, ansioso, you can say soy or estoy, but which one you choose is going to change the meaning of what you're saying. So if you mean in general, like I, this defines me as a person, I am an anxious person in most situations, then you would use soy. But if you're saying, like, just right now in this moment, I'm anxious, then you would use estoy. Okay, here's your next quiz question for Kahoot. Vivo en la República Dominicana. I live in the Dominican Republic, which I don't. Pero blank Afroamericano. What goes there? I'm trying to say I live in the Dominican Republic, but I am African American. I don't live in the Dominican Republic.
Ooh, across the board. Okay, muy bien. Look, okay, y'all learning something. The answer is soy. Soy. Vivo en la República Dominicana, pero soy Afroamericano. Because that is defining me and who I am. Uh-oh, the bottom says Sheeta is making a comeback with three in a row. Y'all better look out. Jill at the top. How do you say American, meaning from the United States? Somebody say gringa. You know, I don't know that if that's completely true. Maybe, maybe people all just assume that it's that you're from the United States. But I think gringa in some places can mean like you're just you're a foreigner. You're somebody that's not from here. So you can say Americano or Americana. So soy Americano or soy Americana if you're a female. Uh, but the word that I'm looking for is Estado Unidense. And a lot of people don't know that one, but Estado Unidense specifically means I'm from the United States. And the reason why that one's important to know is if you say soy Americano, it could be taken to mean that you're from like Latin America. There's more than just America. Like, you know, when you say America, it, it could mean multiple locations. It doesn't just mean the United States. So sometimes to be perfectly clear, uh, you can say Estado Unidense or Norte Americano to say North American. I think a lot of times you can get away with Americano, but Estado Unidense is a good one to know. Here's your next quiz question. Blank muy contento con el resultado. And that's, we're trying to say, I am very content with the result. All right, let's see. Okay, 100% correct here. All right, look. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this Kahoot. Like, this must be working because y'all y'all went from me being a little worried. I'm like, are, are y'all watching my lessons? But now, look, okay, 14 right. The answer is estoy. Estoy muy contento con el resultado. Jill's still killing it. Oh, this says Geeked Out Diva is the highest climber. She went up four places. Look, y'all trying to catch up now. So remember that feelings and emotions are estar. So that was why we put estoy here. Estoy muy, muy contento. This is a feeling that I'm feeling right now, but this doesn't define me as a person. So we wouldn't use ser. We would use estar for, for this one. So in this moment, I'm content. So here's a question for the chat. Estoy muy contento con el resultado is I'm happy with the result. But how could we make this say I'm not happy? What would we have to do to, to do that? Y'all are killing it, man. I'm super proud right now. So the answer to this one is you would just add no. It's real simple. So no estoy muy contento con el resultado is I am not very content. No estoy. So in this case, you would add no before estoy. No estoy muy contento. Muy bien, y'all. Here's your next quiz question if you're on this Kahoot. Ooh, excuse me. Mi hermana no puede venir a la fiesta blank enferma. So we're trying to say my sister can't uh, come to the party because she's sick. Excuse me. I got a lot going on over here. Blank enferma. She is sick. Mi hermana. The correct answer. Oh, almost everybody got uh, esta. Esta enferma. Mi hermana. Oh, the player boards are switching up. Look, she the girl. So here's a question for the chat. Hermana is sister. What is brother? Oh, yeah. Y'all killing that one. Hermano. Muy bien. So hermana is sister. Hermano is brother. It's a nice, easy one for y'all. Here's your next quiz question. Mi padre blank. Un hombre muy inteligente. We're trying to say my dad is a very intelligent man. Mi padre blank. Un hombre muy inteligente. Muy 
Muy bien. Okay, okay. So the answer is mi padre es un hombre muy inteligente. Leaderboards is switching up. Natalia, she coming for y'all. And Kaden. Sydney said, not me having fun taking a test, LOL. Look, I'm I'm glad to hear that. I hope this is fun. Like, man, if it's not fun, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> I hope it is. I'll just have to come up with something else if y'all ain't really de dealing with this. Okay, so here's a question for the chat. Padre is father. How do you say dad? Like a little more, a less formal way to say dad. Padre is father. What is dad? So you now look, you papa with an accent mark. So the second A is going to have an accent mark over it. That, that is dad. So just be careful because if you put papa, it can look like a uh, potato, which is what papa is. So if you said papa frita, that's like a uh, fried potato or French fries. It's... Yeah, yeah. Papi is like daddy. All right, here's the next quiz question. La gallina blank muerta. We're trying to say the chicken is dead. Sorry for la gallina. You got eight seconds. Uh, the correct answer for la gallina blank muerta is esta. This is a tricky one. I see a lot of people pick S on this one, but I'm going to explain in a minute. She the on fire. Seven correct answers in a row. Girl, you killing it. Here's a question for the chat. Muerto or muerta is dead, but how do you say alive? Ooh, see, this is a hard one. This one tripping y'all up. My YouTube people got it. I think I taught this in my last lesson. So good, good job, YouTube people. See, the TikTok people, that's why you need to be subscribed on YouTube. Okay, look, the right answer. So muerto or muerta for dead. Alive is vivo or viva. Muy bien, y'all. Vivir is the verb for to live. Okay, here's your next question in the, uh, what's this, Kahoot. Estas flores blank muy bonitas. We're trying to say these flowers are very pretty. Okay, we had a couple people all over on this one. So estas flores uh, son... Muy bonitas is what we're looking for. Son. We are describing. See, I, I just need to answer my logic to come faster so I can really explain to y'all. Because now I'm explaining. Then we're going to see the slide in a minute. But estas flores son muy bonitas. We're describing the essence of these flowers. Like that is defining the flowers. They are very pretty. She the killing them. Caden on the move too. Jill's still up there at the top. Okay, so remember, we're describing the essence of the flower. See, this is what I said. I'm defining them, we use said. I don't think there's a way I can make it show that first. Okay, so here's a question for the chat. Bonito or bonita is pretty. How do you say ugly? Okay, look, TikTok, y'all trying to get it, but that spelling ain't right. I'm going to tell you right now. YouTube killing them. Look, y'all TikTok people need to get on YouTube. I am not playing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, the correct answer is feo or fea, but it's spelled F-E-O or F-E-A. Feo or fea. There is no Y or Y or Y or however you want to call it. We be in, y'all. Here's the next uh, question here. So, hace mucho frío. Es porque blank en invierno. This is saying it's really cold uh, and it's because we're in, we are in winter. That's what we're trying to say. We are in winter. Es porque blank en invierno. 
Oh, see, this was a hard one. And I think this is actually the last one. So I wanted to end on something that's a little, a little more make you think about it. So for this last one, it's estamos. Es porque estamos en invierno. So this is the end. Let's see who won. Caden came through in third place. Muy bien hecho. Sheeta came in at second. And Jill killed him. Killed him. Good job, Jill. For runners that we had, Ren. Uh, Ren? Oh, damn. They made that go away fast. Sorry that I didn't get to say who was uh, fifth place. Damn, they didn't give y'all no love. Uh, but congratulations to the three winners here. If y'all actually have a, what is this, Kahoot account, it'll save all of this whole thing in there for you. Like, uh, you know, your your little medals and winnings and all that. So that the next time we do Kahoot or if y'all like Kahoot, if y'all liked the Kahoot and want to do these again, uh, I highly suggest that you make an account. That way, when you join next time, it'll actually save these Kahoots in your history so that you can go back and like review the previous Kahoots that you did and all that kind of thing. Uh, I rose again. TV said I just subscribed. Hey, I appreciate that, fam, for real. Let's see. Somebody said "buena." It's gonna be "buenas noches," my Instagram. They really said, "Did I say that right?" You almost did. Yeah. Si me gusta Kahoot. Muy bien. Okay, good. I'm glad that y'all y'all seem to be liking this. Uh, and that's really all that I had in this round. Like, I'm super proud of the way that y'all came through and the way that y'all progress too, like that shows me that this actually worked. I write all of my lessons myself. So all the lessons that y'all see on YouTube, I write those myself. I film them, I record them, edit them. I make the covers, you know, I do all that. So I'm sorry that, you know, the lessons are a little slow sometimes. I know it's been a minute since the last lesson, but I'm trying to crank them out. I'm trying to get better at doing these lives. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dip dip on up out of here. But thank you all for tuning in and for watching this whole thing. If you all have any feedback or any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm here for you all. I'm trying to do this right for you all. So I'll jump off of here. Thank you again. Buenas noches.